All right, here's a story that everyone uh, needs to pay attention to because it infects uh, a certain segment of the population, but really uh, everyone as well outside of that. You all can help. Today is National Black HIV AIDS Awareness Day, and the battle against AIDS in the African American community is one of the biggest health care crises facing this nation. Consider this. Even though black Americans make up about 13% of the U.S. population, they account for nearly 50% of the diagnosed cases of HIV and AIDS. And that's why we bring in Bambi Gaddis. She is one of the people on the front lines. She takes South Carolina's only mobile outreach van to the streets, reaching out to the community to help stop HIV AIDS. And she is a 2008 CNN hero. Our goal is to be in the community. Testing at a nightclub, we're there when young folks are out. It was my first time, very first time. I'm glad I did it. She takes time to explain things, actually break it down. When people that are scared see a place like this, it might make them want to go in and get tested. Bambi joins me now from Columbia, South Carolina. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, apparently we can't bambi can't hear bambi can you hear me oh i'm here oh you're there okay yes, thank can. you so much for joining us how you doing today i i'm uh i'm great i'm you're, great all right good uh, we've had a uh, great yeah so we see what you do and you know I've, i spoke to you when you were nominated uh for heroes and congratulations on that by the way when you go out in thank that van so and that mobile unit what's the response from people who might otherwise not even know about this or may not have it on their radar you know, there was a time when we first uh, got started with the mobile unit, which is funded through the Centers for Disease Control, that people were afraid. Um, but we have learned to start our relationships with the community before we go in with the mobile unit, and it has turned out to be a phenomenal way that we've been able to reach people who typically would never come in to get tested. Mm -hmm. uh, and you, obviously... Um, they are... Mm -hmm. You call it a crisis here. It's a crisis, especially among African Americans. It's a crisis in uh, many segments of the population, African Americans. But women, uh, I, was, I, I spoke to you about a book I read, um, uh, a young lady named Marvelin who um, heterosexual, got it from her boyfriend from unprotected sex, and the number of people like Marvelin growing, and it is a crisis. Um, we are deeply concerned about two populations, certainly our young people, 18 to 24, particularly young African-American males. We're deeply concerned about the increasing rates that we're seeing. Um, but even more... Um, so then what do we do? Because, uh, you know, last, last time I talked to you, we talked about the stigma that, uh, especially the African-American community and maybe even the Latino community, uh, has about this, have about this disease. And it's something that you don't talk about. You don't talk about it in church your advice mm -hmm. on this on saving lives um, the, the direction that we've taken to not only save the next generation but older women who are becoming infected is targeting the faith community and uh, project faith which is fostering AIDS initiatives that heal which was is, is funded through our legislature has created a momentum in our state where we are engaging the ch faith community and they are now becoming the Marines as you will mm -hmm. who are now doing frontline work in our communities and they're making a phenomenal difference in how we're reaching out uh, how we address stigma and the attitudes and beliefs that really um, unfortunately are quite dated mm -hmm. because who people think has HIV is no longer the case. Yeah, Dr. Bambi Gaddis, thank you very much and I just real quick uh, there's a website that she wants us to go to it's called www.livingquilt.org and you can see uh, yes. stories of people get some information we appreciate you going around in your mobile outreach van you are indeed a hero and we thank you for making thank a you. difference in everyone's lives thank you so Thanks much. Very much